Thanksgiving. In Climate Matters, scientists say the world's oceans have hit the hottest average recorded temperature ever. Ian Lee has the details on what that means. Heat waves plaguing the planet are sweeping through our seas. Scientists from Europe recently recorded the hottest ever average ocean temperature just shy of 70 degrees. Personally, I'm really concerned. The heat waves that we're experiencing on land and, and the marine heat waves that we're seeing are happening in unusual locations where we haven't expected them. The world's warming waters threaten to melt the ice caps, destroy coral reefs, and kill marine life, like plankton. The tiny plants and animals create the base of the ocean's food chain. They produce around 50% of the Earth's oxygen. That's every second breath you take, but they're sensitive to heat. People's perspective is that the ocean, you know, it's so big, it's so vast that it can buffer you know, anything that humanity can throw at it. And the reality is that's not the case. The effects are also being felt in the United States. Water temperatures off the tip of South Florida hit a record setting 101 degrees for two straight days last week threatening local coral and sea life. Scientists also warned the warming oceans could trigger more extreme weather, like strong storms, devastating droughts, and fierce floods. Ian Lee, CBS News. Going to bring in our chief meteorologist, Efren Afonte, now, because temperatures tomorrow, understand, chief, are going to be warming up substantially. In fact, those heat indexes might, what, top around 100 degrees or so? That is the likelihood in many areas of South Carolina. But understanding the big impacts, you know, when it comes to warm, well, warm as far as the ocean, keep in mind that we are in hurricane season. And the information from Climate Central has indicated, obviously, that the warmer the water, the more fuel is for hurricanes. And it's a good thing. It's been a quiet season thus far. But it does lead to heavier rainfall, especially periods of brief but very heavy rainfall. And when it comes to tropical cyclones and hurricanes, the high storm surge from the increasing height of the ocean as we go throughout the decades. The other thing is that the impacts specifically here in the southeast Atlantic along our coastline, well, other than hurricanes, we're also talking about the possibility of harmful algae. Now, Florida coastline has been dealing with the red algae every spring and summer for the last eight years. And for us here in South Carolina, the impacts to the sea turtles and the influence that we have to have to help them grow in this kind of environment. Look at these temperatures right now. This is the water temperatures at 11 o'clock at night mid 80s along the coastline. That's very warm. It's about two degrees warmer than the actual average for this time of the year in the summer along the coast. The other thing we already knew that the month of July, the Southwest just absolutely baked and they're still baking, but we didn't fare very well either. Many days in July, we had temperatures that were well above, and this is what we call our shift index when the anomalous temperatures start hitting us. Case in point, the month of July, we've been increasing our average temperature by three degrees over the last 50 years. And it's indicative of what our high temperatures were for the month of July. Although we average right around 92 degrees, right where we should be many days, we're over 90, not hot. Well, the dew points have been the biggest problems because it raises our heat index. Now we're dealing with two more weeks of heat indices that are over 90, and we know that is very uncomfortable.